good morning students uh, in today's discussion we will discuss a patient who presented to us with complaints of left lumbar pain radiating towards left groin and pain at the tip of the penis now he is a male patient around 29 years of age ultrasound abdomen suggestive of left hydroureteral nephrosis with dilated pelvic glacial system he is also having the functional scan that is dtps scan and that is suggestive of 15% left kidney function on plain nccct kob that is non contrast ct kidney ureter bladder region known as nccct kub a dilated ureter is there along with around 1.7 cm stone obstructing the left ureteral vesical junction the junction where left ureter meets the urinary bladder so we plan for cysto urethroscopy followed by left sided ureteral rhinoscopy and left dj stenting double j stenting after clearance of stone so let's go through the operative findings of this patient you must have discussed so many histories and examination regarding the renal stone disease the ureteric stone the bladder stone so first we would like to go through what does it look like the ureteric stone present at the ureterovesical junction in reality so it will going to motivate especially the undergraduates and it will be an experience for post graduates so let's go through the video part now here you can see a stone is just projecting inside the urinary bladder lumen through the left ureterovesical opening here this is the stone if you can appreciate appreciate the cursor this is the stone and this is a cystoscopic finding we are doing cystoscopy at present and 
for undergraduates and postgraduates please note it down that for every ureterorhinoscopy cystoscopy is to be done beforehand so cystoscopy is mandatory cystoscopy means to visualize the urinary bladder by using a telescope specially named as cystoscope so in this case we have identified the left ureterovesical opening as you can see here right ureterovesical opening we have seen and what we are trying here as this is an obstructive system the obstructed system is there and there is no space to go inside through the left ureterovesical opening so it's very difficult to deal with these type of stones so what i am doing is i'm using simply the stent removing forcep just to slightly debulk the stone that is part of the stone that is just projecting inside the urinary bladder lumen mechanically just applying a slight rotatory force after holding the part of that stone that is projecting inside the lumen and just slightly trying to mobilize it to create a space between the ureterovesical junction wall and this stone in order to use the ultrasonic or the probe the vibratory probe probe here we can use the pneumatic lithotripter it vibrates and this as the sound waves produced due to vibrations they travel you already know that sound waves they travel faster in solid medium as compared to the liquid and finally the air so we are just trying to create a space between the wall and the stone just to minimize the damage in case it happens so this is a pneumatic lithotripter probe and now we are going to give a sh shock like this the part of that stone gone now the uv junction is better visualized so in order to get access inside the left ureteric opening we will have to do it like this one of the option what i have opted for here you can see the fragmented stone the part this one is the ureteric orifice ureterovesical junction and this one is the trigonal ridge and after clearance just wait don't be in a hurry this irrigation will do the work the hydro dissection is a very important tool in management of these type of patients again you can see a small amount of stone is again coming out try to just mechanically dislodge it like this 
now here you can see the fragments of the stones what we have cleared till now from this zero-travicycle junction opening cystoscopy we have already done just in order to make the video specific we are just focusing over the left retro recycle opening at junction now here you can see this is the ureteric opening and these are the parts of a fragmented stone that was projecting inside the bladder lumen now what we can do at this stage is just focus on this part this is again the projected part of this junction the wall you can see here this is somewhat projecting inside the lumen it means it is having a larger part of a stone lying inside this area but we can have access to this part of the stone only when we have some space here the whole idea of using this mechanical disruption followed by pneumatic use is to create a space here so that we can enter the ureteric opening you can see some sort of flakes we can see here this using irrigation I am just waiting the irrigation will do it its part and it is going to help us let the bladder drain This is the ureteric opening, the projected part, the dilated one. This is just for convenience, you left with the trigonal ridge, and here is the right ureteric orifice. If you can see, this is the right ureteric orifice, this one. This is bladder neck, bladder neck. And here you can see the flakes coming out. I'm just waiting for a time being to let it clear off. You can collect it and you can also send it for culture. Like this. So our first step we have cleared the blood and neck we are coming out the cystoscope we have removed and finally till now what we have done we have used cystoethroscope we have visualized the urinary bladder and we have cleared the broken we have cleared the projected part of that particular stone that was projecting inside the urinary bladder to create a space and now what the second part now we are going to work inside that uterovesical junction or inside the ureter so we are just inserting a ureterorenoscope one thing is important before inserting an URS always put a feeding tube 
I have used here eight number feeding tube for drainage purpose as this URS doesn't have any inbuilt drainage purpose drainage port is not there whereas in sister scope drainage can be done whenever required without using these types of feeding tubes but in URS it is required to drain the bladder whenever you are using URS urethrorenoscope a smaller fringe and a smaller view is there as compared to cystoscope we are using around uh, I think 9 French the URS and the dilated although it is difficult to trace the ureteric opening with the URS without uh, a guide wire but yes here your the previous cystoscopy what you have done and the images found by your cortex and your hand-eye coordination along with your experience will help you to directly spot that opening here we have slightly entered the left uterovesicle opening just examining the area the inspection part we are doing through the cystoscope and this one is the opening and these are the fragments of stones these are the fragments of stones like this patience is required don't be in a hurry we have used pneumatic lithotripter lithotripter means anything that is that particular instrument litho tripter means anything that is being used to break the stones that particular instrument is known as lithotripter and if pneumatic means something related to air if that is used that is known as pneumatic lithotripter. There is laser also. Important role in managing the ureteric stones. The upper ureteric stones, smaller one or pelvic stones again can be managed with RIRS scopes. But in this case, we are using pneumatic lithotripter. It is having some disadvantages over laser, but it's okay. Usually the fragments, while breaking, they go upwards, but it still will manage. Now here you can see, till now, We have created small space we are working over the left uterovesicle area hydro dissection is doing its part Just for the sake of undergraduates and postgraduates, I am not editing any part of this video. The video part is not being edited. The real time, I am just presenting it. Just in order to get the feel, the real time procedure. So here another instrument we are using, this is known as tripong it is having 
three prongs, tri prongs. It is just used to clear the smaller fragments outside this junction in order to get more space. Although the vision is not so clear as was it was in sister during sister erythroscopy. Now here you can appreciate the ureteric wall below and this one is the stone. This one is the stone. Slightly we have been successful now to enter the ureteric orifice, the left ureter. The next step would be to slightly push this fragment upwards so that we can enter inside and we can use the pneumatic lithotriptor to break the bigger stone this one to smaller fragments like this this is the pneumatic what we are using pneumatic lithotriptor you can see the bigger one is becoming smaller fragments the bigger stone and while doing this ureteral rhinoscopy there is a part of that attachment known as pathfinder With the help of that infusion, we may have alternating clear view inside the electric system. So here you can see, with the help of this probe, almost we have negotiated the electric lumen for the first time in this procedure. And now we are going beyond that obstructed area. Although the part of this is somewhat reactionary in origin, not looking perfectly okay, especially the area distal to this fragment towards the urinary bladder. The hypertrophic mucus is there. And changes due to chronic obstruction is there proximally. Now this is the basic problem while using pneumatic. I am using pneumatic probe here and the stone is going up higher by higher, slightly higher. So in order to manage this page I will advise that place your probe slightly at an angle let's say 5 to 10 degree with the stone it is not going to affect the function of the probe as far as the breaking of stone is concerned but yes it will prevent the stone to slightly move up Here you can see, now smaller fragments are there and the idea is just to place the probe over the stone slightly in an oblique manner, let's say 5 to 10 degree so that it will prevent the stone to go up. Another option is don't use pathfinder when you are firing 
through the probe. Now here these are the smaller fragments. The next step would be to use the triprong to clear the stones. And here is the ureteric lumen. We are inside left ureter. The obstruction is almost clear now. The residual the fragmented stone that is there. We are going to clear them also. This is the left uterovesicle opening and this is triprong with the help of this we can remove the stone the fragments like this and will come inside their new bladder like this and will leave this stone here for the time being. If you are experienced, you can work like this, but it is advisable after clearance, put a guide wire. It will make the process smooth. So after clearance as much as it is possible at this stage. We are just inspecting the lumen of the ureter like this and using triprong like this, removing the stones. And after clearance, our plan is to put a guide wire. Now we can see here clearance and um, endolumen of the left ureter after clearance. We have traveled up to the mid part of the ureter. You can see. And this is almost normal looking ureter, almost. I will not say perfectly normal, but yes, almost normal due to the chronic obstruction. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that it is perfectly normal. Now here we are putting a guide wire the soft end is going towards the renal area and putting a guide wire is going to help us a lot slightly slowly just come out inspecting the lumen how many fragments are there all these things should be kept in mind and without damaging the ureter just come out these smaller fragments can be removed with the triprong 
and sometimes it may be left out as such if there is excessive edema over this left urethrovesical junction or some problem is there and you are not able to negotiate again after putting a guide wire like this try to clear it with the help of uh, this tri prong again the stones the fragments and after clearing the fragments now here is the guide wire you will have to remove your urs first after putting a guide wire and then reinsert it taking this guide wire as as the name suggests as a guide and we will directly reach up to the urethrovesical opening like this go inside and just clear these fragments using the tri prong like this tri prong we can use although it looks tricky but yes by gaining experience it's not so difficult to do this procedure the key is having patience and you must have your own time remember all of you while doing any surgical procedure any type you must take your time you assess yourself you are the only person you know the your advantages your limitations so according to that you take the decisions and take your time don't be in a hurry if you cannot proceed further and if there is some confusion always ask for seniors help this is the basic the take home message through this video although i insist believe yourself believe your capabilities you can always do it but still in confusion seniors are always there to help so at the proper time you can always ask for help now here you just see almost we have cleared the lumen and a stent is there uh, this guide wire is there not this stent it's a guide wire just recheck the clearance any stone fragment just remove like this with the help of tri prong now we are inside your knee bladder this these fragments can be removed with the help of alex evacuator by attaching to sister scope so what we are going to do just to make the video short and precise now we are going to remove the urs we'll put a cystoscope and we'll clear the fragments the remaining fragments with the help of alex evacuator guide wire should be in situ and after clearing the bladder we'll put a dj stent 6 french in this patient over a guide wire
like this now here you can see almost the lumen is clear we have removed the urs so take home message these type of patients they do present with severe pain sometimes tossing in the bed you must have read in the book so these type of patients please manage as early as possible and if suppose this was difficult suppose in this case if it would have not been entered inside that urethrovesical opening or just after the, in the initial phase the pus would have been started coming out through that opening please abandon the procedure and the another option left with us for these type of patient is left side percutaneous nephrostomy pcn ultrasound guided if we cannot negotiate through the urethrovesical opening and a stone is still there edematous urethrovesical opening is there or structure is there so as for immediate relief for the patient go for left percutaneous nephrostomy any question related to this we'll discuss later on you can write to me thank you now the same you can see the after clearance how does it look like the guide wear is there the same opening as we have cleared that particular opening although there is an option the preferable option was this using the guide wire we can insert the in double j stent but in this patient as the opening is so much dilated we are in using a double j stent a part of the guide wire first we are going to negotiate like this and after inserting the guide wire just by slight rotatory motion we'll try to negotiate this double j stent over the guide wire there should not be any resistance if any resistance is there it means some fragments may be obstructing the path
this is a difficulty when we are not placing this tent over a guide wire this is a basic difficulty so it's always advisable preferably to put a stent over guide wire and this dj stent is required when there is edematous urethrovesical opening let's see what happens in this operative video the bladder neck is the opening no guide wire at present This time we are utilizing for drainage and obstructing pathways there we can see. very easily now it is going and here is the distal most part you can see the pusher here this one and after removing the guide wire and the pusher now here is the final picture of DJ stent like this the stone fragments most of the stone fragments we have cleared left DJ stent in situ and for this patient This is the best work we can do. So this is one of the example of managing the ureteric stone impacted on the ureterovesical junction. The important take home message for postgraduates and for undergraduates. The idea of presenting this clinical video was to just give them an idea about the cystoscopic appearance of urinary bladder and ureteric orifice the anatomy how does the stone looks like what are the different basic instruments we are using while managing these patients and how the patient presents to us so thank you thank you so much